Formica can be done in a lot of, in a lot of ways. Uh, the simplest probably would be either some shears or you can even use uh, a metal saw, hand saw. Uh, better way would be to use either the table saw with a regular table saw blade or what I usually do, uh, the table saw is faster, but what I usually do is use a router bit so you can cut it really exactly to size. Um, but I'll show you uh, either way. It happens to be that this piece of formica is fairly the right size. Uh, what I usually do is uh, use a piece of tape just to indicate where it has to be cut. Um, as I said, when I use a router bit, you can really go very close. So, but I'll do this uh, piece with a table saw. The tape will also protect it a little bit against uh, the table saw blade. So. Next step is uh, to apply some uh, contact cement. I usually uh, use uh, well wood, very well known, uh, works great. Uh, in case of a small piece like this, I usually p use a piece of scrap, scrap wood, to apply it to both surfaces. Um, both surfaces have to be treated. But in case of uh, wood, I usually start with the wood, do the laminate, and then do the wood again because it tends to dry out uh, faster than the laminate. After the glue, uh, we have to wait most of the time approximately 15 minutes or so until it's really dry and tacky. Uh, so we'll wait for that. Okay, now that it's dried enough, we have to put them together. I use a um, regular J roller for that. Pretty large overlap. You usually start at the center going outwards, but that's more important at the larger pieces. And I usually get a little bit of glue from the roller from somewhere onto formica. I use a little bit of paint thinner, mineral spirits to remove that. Yeah, now we have to wait till it's dry. Well, the other piece is uh, drying. I'll be cutting a piece of formica for another part of the cabinet. So I indicated where it has to go. And I'll use uh, the table saw as well as the router as an alternative cut uh, to get it to size. To use my router to cut uh, the laminate down to size, uh, for that I use uh, a thick piece of uh, plywood, three quarter inch piece of plywood, that I connect to the bench top. Uh, then I would overlay the, the formica where the cut has to be made. Uh, in this case, this is the end of the piece of wood, so just to oversize it a bit, 
would like to cut it, for instance, here, midway, midway the tape, put that on top, and then I would use a second piece of plywood on top of that. That doesn't matter that much. It helps it keep uh, the laminate in place uh, and it avoids scratches on the laminate itself too. Uh, the important piece is the bottom piece because that edge will hold the router bit. I will use my regular router, because that's the only one I have at hand, with a straight bit that has a roller at the bottom. The roller will fit against the three quarter inch plywood I have uh, put under the uh, laminate. I place the roller against the plywood and then start cutting. They have the same cut as on the table saw. So that overlaps a little bit. And I can make another glue up. So both pieces have dried long enough so I can put them together. Uh, however, with larger pieces, this is not really large, but certainly if you have larger pieces, what I do is use a couple of stakes or so. Well, that's, that's Lot. So you can place it and then the, just release it from one side to the other. With that done, it's the same thing again. Start at the center and put a lot of pressure on it. And again, clean it up with a little bit of mineral spirits. We need to route a very narrow piece of wood. I always add a sport on one side, so you got a little bit more surface for the router to slide on. When it's routed, I usually go over it with some rough sandpaper and smooth the edge a little bit as well so it's not that sharp uh, and if there's uh, too much left which happens in this situation where it's tapered so it's a little bit too much that's when I usually use a uh, the, the round side of a rasp slowly get that extra part removed and then finally go over with uh, some sandpaper again the pieces I'll put a dado in so it has a little bit more uh, surface to uh, glue to um, so what I do is I use my dado blade Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV Thanks for watching our YouTube channel If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe Or better yet, uh, leave a comment Thanks guys done a good job